All right, well, next up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, a true feel-good story. Now, homeless individuals are often looked down upon by society and commonly considered addicts or those who are simply too lazy to make a life for themselves. But regardless of how these individuals end up in that situation, they are still human and deserve a little dignity. So in realizing this, law enforcement officers in Simonstown found a way to help the homeless. Simonstown has battled for years with an influx of homeless individuals. Working together, the Community Policing Forum and local police developed a parking attendance project with 15 homeless individuals. The motivation for me was if we can start to reintegrate people into society, give them their dignity back and start to uplift them, then a whole lot of issues would be sorted out for Simonstown. Minor criminal issues, petty theft, all those types of things would then start to evaporate, which is exactly what we've seen. It was important for us to not just to give them something to do, it was important that we uplift them as individuals. So it is important for us that we get people to think in different ways. Um, we were very fortunate with Mr. Colton, the CPF Vice Chairman, is a life coach. He has assisted us in finding different ways of giving the people self-worth again. And through the self-worth, we've seen huge changes in the people that are part of the project. What skills have I learned? Um, not to be shy. <laughs> Keep on smiling with the customers. <laughs> I do lots of different things through car guarding. I've done diving courses that has been fully sponsored to me. Before we used to have drunk guys watching people's cars and hanging over the windows for a tip. We do things different. When people step out of their cars, I stand at least two meters away. I say, good morning, welcome to Simonstown. Whatever information we can support them with, we support them with. When they leave, we stand a couple of meters away from the car. So there's no forcing people into giving us a tip. If you're decent and clean, um, they will speak to you, come to you, offer you tips. People uh, started to respect us now. People try to also bring support us. People give us food, give, people give us clothes, and if, uh, they could really they support us in this project. Each parking attendant must attend a two-day training intervention and commit to the rules and code of conduct. Clearly identified by their pink vests, the parking attendants take pride in the area, have formed good relationships with local residents and experienced personal growth. We can't expect people to change their behavior if we don't change our own. I think that for me has been an amazing journey. What, what I, I am a professional coach by, by training and obviously I'm a businessman in town. So I, I'm coaching the street people, the car parks, uh, car parking attendants. But what I've seen is that even the business owners who have been really, really negative have turned around. I've got some incredible emails thanking the team. It's been an amazing journey, but a long way to go. There's been huge changes in all of the people that have been part of the project. Initially, we discussed hygiene, um, dress appearance, all those types of things. So, yes, the physical appearance, big change, huge change in attitude. Before, they were very worried about talking to us and sharing ideas. Now, they talk my ears off, you know. They spend a good part of my day walking down the main road and everyone's got advice, everybody's got you know, an idea that they think we should look at or something like that. And that's, that's incredibly satisfying to see them starting to come out their shells again. There are exciting plans to roll out the project to other areas, but the real success has been in transforming lives and giving people hope to build a new future for themselves.